One of you asked, as Texas and OU enter the SEC Monday, officially, why is there this perceived gap between Oklahoma and then several levels and then Texas? Why is everyone treating it like it's Texas, end paragraph, start new paragraph, and Oklahoma? I think I have some reasons, but this is not invalid. If you feel that way, if you live in Oklahoma, you're an Oklahoma fan, that's valid. That absolutely is how it's being presented. The over-under win total at FanDuel this year for Texas, 10.5. OU, 7.5. So it's not just a media thing or a fan thing or an internet thing. It's a Vegas thing, too. There is This is in, in relation to this year's teams, of course, when it comes to Vegas. But the perception is Texas, as a program, different level than Oklahoma. And, and what's crazy is a lot of times year over year we have new people come to the sport. And I can see in our audience metrics, you've, you've got different ways to detect um, whether people have watched for a long time or whether they're pretty new. And I picture someone new. I picture someone from, from good old Enid, Oklahoma, who you've always rooted for Oklahoma, but you don't really immerse yourself. But this year, you've chosen to take the leap. Welcome. We're happy to have you. You may be sensing this. Oh, but they think Texas is way better than us. It must be because of on-field results, right? No. Oklahoma's 7-3 and three in the last 10 against Texas. They are 11-4 and four in their last 15 against Texas. Well, they must have won more titles at Texas then, right? No. Oklahoma's got a 14-4 lead in conference titles since 1996. That was in the Big 12. Now they're coming to the SEC. Okay, Josh, well, certainly then, most recently, Texas must be just recruiting at a different level than Oklahoma. Uh, the last five years, Texas has averaged a class ranked 7.4. Oklahoma's has averaged being ranked ninth. Not a huge gap in recruiting. Well, what about the portal, Josh? Texas has done good there. Yeah, Oklahoma's done better. So they've got the head-to-head. Uh, they've got history on their side, both recently and more long-term. Recruiting has been pretty comparable. Portal has been edge Oklahoma. Where in the world is the perceived gap coming from? I think three things are in play. There's bias towards Texas that I think is undeniable. Number two, I think there's a lot of recency bias. And what they do is they don't think back to the Red River shootout last year. If they did that, they'd know Oklahoma won the game. More recent than that, what did we see last year? We saw Texas make the playoff, which fulfilled on a lot of predictions that people had been making year over year over year over year. And finally, Texas made some folks look smart, and they love them for it. But the thing about it is Oklahoma won double-digit games last year as well, and there were a couple of one-possession losses that stood between them and maybe doing a whole lot more than just a nice, solid bowl game. But I think at the core of all this, for some reason, the stink of Brent Venable's first year and his record being 6-7 and still lingers much more so than Sark going 5-7 and his first year. That was a year prior than Brent Venable's first year, But also, Texas has a playoff appearance, and that playoff appearance, whether it should or not, it just washes everyone's memory clean, whereas Oklahoma had a nice year last year, 10-3 and last year. What in a playoff appearance, though? Playoff appearances are magical. Having said that, though, if I were Brent Venables, I wouldn't change a thing. Oklahoma thinks they have their guy for the long haul. That's why they just locked him up with an extended contract last week. Brent Venables is not showing an ounce of doubt. They're totally resolute in their approach. In fact, I would imagine the year one to year two improvement from two years ago to last year, he probably never doubted much, but I think it may have reinforced that he's the right guy and his way is the right way and trust him when it comes to the rest of the organization. Then it becomes a whole lot easier to sell on the transfer portal circuit with guys like Deion Burks coming in from Purdue, who could be an instant game changer, will be, I think, if he's healthy, this year at Oklahoma. They get to play him every year. See, that's the thing about rivalries in college football. When you don't have people in suits get in the way, you get to play him every year on the field. Oklahoma, point spread underdog, they will be, won't matter. Just like Michigan with Ohio State, that matters. Long as long as they got to have us for 60, as long as we get our shot. And October 12th, that's when it happens. A three-week stretch there, three-game stretch. There's a bye week baked in here. But how about this? Oklahoma opens conference play against Tennessee at home. 
They go to Jordan-Hare in Auburn the very next week, by week. Then they got Texas in Dallas. Yeah, it's an SEC schedule. Um, going to be fun to watch. But, yeah, I don't think there's the massive gap. But I get suckered into blindly believing in it a little bit as well. So I won't say I'm immune to it. I just think every good thing Texas does gets amplified a little more than every good thing Oklahoma does. There's no other way to explain it. There is just a pro-Texas bias that is baked into the college football ether. But I'm telling you, if I'm not, I didn't grow up a fan of either one of these programs. If I had to choose a side of that equation, I'd actually embrace the Oklahoma side. I'd actually embrace it, folks doubting constantly and after every year or an extended period of years, no matter how much we prove ourselves, it's like people get amnesia every summer. That just means you got to go reprove yourself year over year. But hey, complacency, never an issue. When everyone doubts you constantly, complacency is never an issue. Um, that's my best guess. That's my best explainer as to why that perceived gap is there. But hey, quick, quick note. As long as the perception doesn't become reality, you'll be fine, and it will even make the seasons more fun for you.